Welcome to Rosine Colour Class, I'm Catherine Smith. We're talking about neutrals, which is everybody's favourite colour schemes, but we need to understand that not all neutrals are created equal. They always have an underlying colour which can affect the mood and depth of the room. For example, Rosine Tea is everybody's favourite colour, but you've got to notice with the tea that it has quite a lot of yellow underneath it. So if you're working with other colours, the yellow can make them seem quite muddy and dirty and that's not what you want. So you may need to work towards using a deeper, richer neutral that's got a bit more brown underneath it. That's going to work better with reds and warmer colours and possibly with your blue colours. Today the neutrals are tending towards the grey family, so there are quite a lot of black and white and just tints of that and that's going to look quite fresh, very modern, but it can make other neutrals look off or too pink or too yellow. So be aware that this has got a lot of grey now in the modern palettes of neutrals. And finally, you can find a neutral that's got perhaps a bit more green and a bit more warmth, but it's still in that grey family. There's no hint of pink or brown in it. That's one version of it, and then the next version is the gravel, which is a purely grey, and it's got a lot of application with modern colour schemes when you're using a strong black, a pure white, and not much other colour. So have fun playing with neutrals, but learn how to read what those neutrals have as a basis. Thank you for watching Rosine Colour Class.